I'm going to show you some PVC pipe that's ran on 1% slope, and then I'm going to show you some PVC pipe that goes to 3% slope. And we're going to show you what happens to PVC when you do this, and I'm going to explain it. I'm also going to explain the greenhouse effect. You can see how there's condensation on the top of this pipe. That's because the air is colder than the dirt that's around it. This pipe doesn't vent. If this was a French drain where it only had holes on the bottom, it would not vent. So when you hear me talk about the greenhouse effect in PVC pipe, what I'm referring to, PVC pipe only has holes on the bottom. There's typically only two holes on the bottom, but you can seek out three holes. That's the max because then the pipe becomes too weak. PVC is really brittle and it cracks. If you put holes 360 degrees, PVC will fail. Now, the greenhouse effect that I always refer to. Now, when I talk about the greenhouse effect, you have the holes in the bottom, whether it's two or three. They're facing down. There's nothing to vent this pipe. So up top in this pipe, you end up with a lot of condensation buildup. When the temperatures change, there's nothing to vent this pipe up top. So it builds condensation. Anytime you have a a change in temperature, you're going to move air through the system. Now the ground is going to stay a certain temperature for a while. It doesn't change as fast as the air. So you get condensation at the top of the pipe. There's many things that grow in the dark when you have a non-vented system. So when we have holes 360 degrees, we vent our pipe for French drains. We don't have condensation building up in the top of our pipe growing all kinds of things. Red algae, iron ochre, these things thrive when you have this greenhouse effect. When you have corrugated pipe that's four slots staggered, or you have eight slot, you end up with inlets and outlets 360 degrees all the way around the pipe. The top, the bottom, the sides, this pipe's going to vent. All right, let's continue on with our inspection. You can see all the condensation. You can see the greenhouse effect occurring. You can see how this just stays damp, and it's never going to dry out. It's never going to vent. If you have certain soil bacteria with French drains, they just love this. So this is a solid discharge pipe, but it gave me an opportunity to teach that, and I wanted to show you what this looks like when this pipe goes from 1% slope to 3% slope. So there's a reason why all the inspectors are checking the plumbing in homes so that it's 1% slope. If it's any greater than 1% slope, what happens is you end up with a situation where the water leaves the pipe too quick and it drops any solids. We have a crack right here. You can see there's a, a split right where I circled it there. There's a break. Now that'll cause a sinkhole. A discharge line in PVC, when it cracks like that, the dirt falls in. Now when you have a gutter drain or some pump discharge line run, it's going to pump that water out. See what's growing on the top of this pipe? I don't know exactly what's growing on the top of this pipe. I just wanted to point it out. So this is caused by the greenhouse effect. This is a solid discharge line. Again, it just gave me an opportunity to speak on this, but I want to continue to teach you guys some other things that I find when using PVC pipe that you have to be careful with. So when you go from 1% slope to a drop off in the yard, this happens a lot in yard drains. You can't just run PVC pipe at 1% throughout your entire yard. We have some really steep grades in certain areas in Michigan. I know Tennessee, Kentucky, the Carolinas, you're dealing with a lot of valleys and ridges. So this pipe had to go on 3% slope right now. What happens is the water leaves too fast. Now, do you see all the shingle gravel that's in this pipe? Why is that? Well, it's, there's a couple reasons. One, it didn't have a catch basin to help filter it out. That would have helped. But it went from 1% slope to about 2.5% slope. 
PVC has to be on 1% slope all the time. And that's impossible to do with yard drainage. You're going to have 2% slope, 3% slope, even 4% slope. This is why home inspections say you have to have 1% slope. When you flush your toilet, if you don't have 1% slope, it will not push the solids out. It'll build up, it'll clog, and that's what's happening here. This pipe couldn't maintain 1% slope. The grade fell off. It had too much fall. Now, corrugated pipe, you can run single wall corrugated pipe on 2% slope, 3% slope, 4% slope, no issues. Because the corrugations create a turbulence along the pipe's surface. It suspends all this debris and carries it out to the discharge. Now, I'm running the camera through here because they reported problems and asked if we can come and provide a service and figure out what's going on. This is going to have to be jetted out. It's clogged. You can see there's some leaves, some organic material in with the shingle gravel. So, again, keep your PVC pipe at 1% slope. If you can't, you need to run single wall corrugated pipe. And you have to watch your dual wall pipe as well. If you can run it on 1% slope, you'll be fine. But if you can't maintain 1% slope through the design of your system, because you have drop, a lot of drop, you have to run single wall corrugated pipe. So I tried to push the camera through this clog just to see how bad it was. I can't get the camera through it. So the camera's on a cable. Normally I can push through a clog. This thing's jammed up pretty good. So we're going to have to come and jet it out. This was not a belly. This was not a belly. This pipe had no bellies in it. Through this inspection, that's not what we've seen. We, we know from the outside grade what we're dealing with. And this was a far run over some distance and yes anytime you go from one percent to two percent you're going to have problems unless you're running single wall corrugated pipe that's your other option and this pipe with its crack there's probably some dirt also falling in and once it hits that two and a half percent slope it's not pushing the dirt out it's not pushing the shingle gravel out anything that it was carrying in the water it loses. The water evacuates too quick. It won't carry the solids away. A lot of mold and mildew in this system. Again, a French drain system that doesn't vent at the top is going to do the same thing. So this was a great opportunity for me to bring up and show a couple of things. Now we're starting to come back to 1% slope here. You can see that there was some shingle gravel lost, a little bit of debris as it was going from 1% to 2.5, but we're clean here. We're clean. Everything's the way it's supposed to be. So that's why the home inspector, the building inspector, makes sure all indoor plumbing is ran on 1% slope. When you have a smooth bottom pipe like PVC, it has to be at 1% slope. A lot of condensation right here. You can see it up top, just building up. You know, this is a discharge line for a downspout. But if it was a French drain, they look the same. I'll get video footage and I'll share it with you throughout the year. I'm looking forward to educating and teaching everybody about the differences. So we're looking really good here with this 1% slope. So we had to run a camera through some other PVC pipes. And a video recorded that for you guys as well. So here's another pipe. You can see that this pipe has breaks and it has cracks. Now this yard had a lot of sinkholes. Anytime PVC pipe separates like this, where you see the breaks, you have your breaks, a lot of cracks, and then right here you got separation. That's catastrophic failure. 
and dirt's going to end up in the discharge line. Every time it rains or the sump pump turns on, depending on what the pipe is used for, the dirt that falls in the pipe is going to get flushed out the discharge end. It's going to create sinkholes in the yard. Now, there's a lot of cracks in this pipe. This pipe's in really bad shape. This is another downspout line that's ran. I wouldn't run it in the south. I wouldn't run PVC outdoors, period. I like corrugated pipe. But this one is in the north. It is in the frost. It sees a lot of heave every time it freezes. You know, the ground lifts and then it settles. PVC pipe is rigid. It cracks. Look at all the cracks throughout this pipe. It's amazing that this pipe, that they're able to still use this pipe. You can see cracks on the sides, on the top, even on the bottom. Some really big cracks. Catastrophic failure. You're starting to see separation. This is causing the sinkholes in this yard. Anytime you have settling of the ground, shifting of the ground pvc pipe is going to crack like this look at that big crack in the bottom of this pipe so corrugated pipes flexibility is its strength you're never going to see this with corrugated pipe it's going to allow you to run on one percent two percent three percent four percent slope without any issues the pipe performs really well. If the ground shifts, it doesn't crack. Its flexibility is its strength. A lot of people think with a downspout on PVC, they don't need something to catch the leaves. They don't need something to catch the shingle gravel. Nothing can be further from the truth. You're going to end up with problems. You're inviting problems by not using a leaf filter, by not using a catch basin. So I wanted to point something else out too. You see all these cracks in this pipe. The cracks are on the bottom. They're on the sides. They're on the top. They're everywhere. There's guys that are openly talking about drilling more holes in PVC pipe when they use it for a French drain. They'll take a pipe that has three holes on the bottom, and then they'll make three more holes on top. This pipe is so weak when it comes to that type of thing. You cannot add inlets to the top of the pipe. If you're going to use PVC for a French drain, I strongly suggest you don't because once the bottom of the holes fill up with dirt or sediment, and it's going to happen, that's just the natural progression of a French drain. Over time, it fills up with dirt. There's a little bit of sediment on the bottom. Corrugated pipe with inlets 360 degrees, it'll continue to work for you where a PVC French drain will not. If you drill holes in it, it's too brittle, it's too weak, and it's going to fail you. You can just see all the cracks in this pipe. This pipe is no good for the north. It has to be ran on 1% slope. It can't be any greater than 1% slope, or it's going to leave all the debris behind. Now, people always say, well, PVC is easier to install and they get your 1% slope. If your grade is falling away and you have a lot of drop, you have to stay with the grade. What are you going to do? If you don't drop the pipe at the 2 or 3% that the grade is falling, you're going to come out of the ground with it. It's going to daylight too soon for you. When you're trying to discharge it further away to prevent erosion, say on a bank, you know, or a hill. Yes, you're trying to get it down below where there's not going to be any erosion or any issues. You don't want to discharge water up high in a grade. You want to carry it further away. Man, this, this looks like job security to me. This pipe has to come out. New pipe has to come in. If you appreciate the videos that I take time to make to help educate everybody on the different materials, what they do using indoor plumbing materials on the outdoors for yard drains, things like that, 
give me a thumbs up. It shows me that you appreciate the time that I'm putting into these videos. If there's any videos you want me to make, leave it in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.